happening in this cave is back. We back in here. Case so good he sleep with a cutter. Sorry, I'm discombobulated early in the morning. We here on um not even um for all the dogs eve. The day before or the daytime before all the dogs eve, you know dog back on niggas is in the night time. But anyways, we can talk about Lil Tate. Lil Tate step up to the congregation. Now, if you haven't been seen or if you don't know who Lil Tate is and I'm not confusing it with an artist or a rapper. Shout out Lil Tay, Tay Wilson. That's my man. I fold him. If you don't know who T Lil Tay, Tay Wilson is, don't bother this. You know, so go check him out. Baltimore area. Anyways, um, Lil Tay was the girl that, you know, she was a little child that was on, like, I guess Vine, whatever the fuck it was before. Like, I'm Lil Tay. I'm the rich. I'm the youngest flexor of all. I got... Your shoes is broke. My car costs more than your rent. My shoes cost more than your rent. Like she had that type of it's the little girl in her own like so Savelli Chief keeping it doing like little pictures with her. She was like a social media star. You know what I'm saying? Doing her thing. She was running around with Wolf Vicky and at the same time when the Cash Me Outside girl popped out. Like it was around that time and she was doing her thing. You know. Now she did disappear for a minute. You know, and then we were seeing like sporadic like updates like her brother was controlling her account, whatever the fuck. Like we, we realized like somebody was probably marketing her that way, but we didn't know what was happening. We seen like um her brother was on some fuck shit. It was like a death hoax between her and her brother, and a lot of shit was happening. Now at the time we was just thinking like that's probably her brother and her brother tweaking. Why the fuck he doing some type of shit like that? What's going on with the family? Now she's like 13, 14, I believe around there. <clears throat> Niggas was trying to get off 16 because if she was like nine, ten, she was like around nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, like, 9 around that time. At most, she could be, like, 13, 14 at this moment. You know, motherfuckers commenting on her appearance, which is crazy, bro. That's a child. Like, I get Okay. Listen. I get it. Niggas. <laughs> this sounds so wrong, but <laughs> niggas probably been hitting some of these females that, um, social media clout females that looked above age. Like the Cash Me Outside Girl and Malu and probably Will Vicky. They was probably older than 18. Probably hitting these females before they even turned 18. But I digress. Like, this is really, like, a child child. Like, you know what I'm saying? At least them, they was, like, teenagers. They was, like, what, 14, 15 when they started doing this shit? It's like, all right, gang. You know what I'm saying? All, well, not all right. It's still, but, like, okay. It's kind of like, okay. But, like, this is, like, a child child. Like, you really scum. Like, bro, if you was, like... Like, nigga, if you was at 17 talking to a 14, 15 year old, like, you know, like, I'm not gonna tweak on you. Like, I get it, gang. Like, let's not act like there was never a grade 11 nigga dating a grade 9. Like, let's not act like that never happens, bro. But, anyways, besides all of that being said, and preferences or, or whatever the fuck, like, it's the end of that. Now, if you 13, 14, and you think she attractive, hey, go ahead. First of all, I didn't even know she was from Canada, but, anyways. We're not here to talk about it. Basically, she goes on this whole little thing after she comes back to the internet. She drops a music video. Then listen to a song. Uh, now, I'm not going to say didn't listen to a song. Basically, when I heard the song, she was back on the, I'm the richest flexer, da 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 type of shit. Like, we went back in time, but she got older. She was back on that type of time. So, I was like, all right, baby girl, do your thing. Now. She was basically talking about her family or whatever. And I'm going to give you the Cliff Notes version. There is a video. She did like a video. You could go find it on YouTube or whatever to have you. Basically, she was stating, oh, um, her father didn't really take care of her. What was hilarious was she was saying that her father was pulling off Craigslist, bro. And some of the pictures she was showing, the shorties was all right. I was like, damn, bro. Hey, listen, I know this shit is stop picking. We're going to get into the more serious aspects of this. But, bro, what type of nigga is you to be pulling off Craigslist, bro? You a different type of nigga, bro. Nigga said, fuck Tinder. Hinge? Don't need that. Bumble? Tuh! That's a fumble. You know where I'm going. Big Craigslist. And shout out Joe Senegato because he had a little series back in the day of crazy people on Craigslist. And he'll tell you the shit that niggas was doing. Bro, Why? <laughs> Like, I don't know, bro. They got rid of back page. Like, is Craigslist the new back page? Do I need to go over there? Does Craigslist got the hoes? Is that what y'all telling me? Craigslist got the hoes. Because if Craigslist got the hoes, you know what I'm saying? K.A. might have to go and see for himself. Because he was pulling something. It was all right. You know what I'm saying? One of the shorties was, apparently, 
She was trying to get a green card, but hey, she was all right. You know what I'm saying? I was running with that show. I don't know if whatever show that fucker was. That nigga Ed or whatever. No Neck Ed. Whatever. Net, whatever the broski name is. Bro. Bro. The type of money, bro. Bro. This nigga was pulling, bro. This, yo. <laughs> this nigga was pulling. But besides that. Besides his, you know, um, success on Craigslist. Basically saying how oh he would be um she would be around again I don't know if her brother lived with her mom she didn't really talk about him as well uh, she didn't I don't even know if her and her bro got a good relationship but besides that um the fa okay uh the mother and the father are separate divorce whatever shows a picture of her dad looked like he got some type of money but anyways basically he was more focused on the women he was entertaining. And his child saying how I don't know how, but apparently, um, Lil Tay would be in the bed and him and homegirl would be doing sexual acts while she's sleeping in the bed with them. And like, he basically insinuated, like, you know, the dad was, you know what I'm saying, putting in work on homegirl. And while she was getting back shots, Shorty was grabbing on her leg, on Lil Tay's leg, like a nine year old, ten year old's leg for stability. And I was like, nigga, what? Listen, I'm not gonna act like you know. Sometimes you be you be sleep with a nigga, bro. You know, so when I sleep with a nigga, but like you know, that them weird occasions, bro. You be like a like a group of y'all of the homies or whatever. Maybe going on a trip and y'all sharing the room or the Airbnb. Maybe two niggas sharing the room. A nigga brought back some work. I'm not saying you might you might not be in the same bed as the nigga, but you know you might be on the floor and broski. You know what I'm saying? Put in that work. But this is why, nigga, that's your kid. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nigga. The fact. And these are wild accusations. Now, at the same time, because it's Lil Tay, niggas is looking at this like, you just saying some shit. Also, I didn't even get into the nitty gritty. She's saying there was a domestic violence. He was beating on the kid. He was. Um, one of the girls he was talking to had like a stepson and they encouraged him to um beat up Lil Tay as a child. Uh, her her father is racist to blacks and Hispanics which to, <laughs> Hey listen guys <laughs> We be getting the brunt of a lot of bullshit so it is what it is. With that being said, um What else happened? Sorry, it's early in the morning. I, I'm losing track of shit. But, um, yeah, that happened. Just a lot of shit. Apparently, he wasn't feeding the daughter, right? So, when the mom uh, noticed this, she would drop out French, fresh lunches to her school. And, like, the dad would get outraged. She didn't pay child support. She was just going on and on. There's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff I'm probably forgetting. But, this is really all I gotta say. Listen, Lil Tay, first of all, nobody should grow up in a dysfunctional home. I know as a child, you want your mom and your father together. Sometimes it doesn't work out like that. And, like, I know it's stereotypical that black people grew up in a one-parent household. Majority of the time, they try to say one of the parents passed away doing some uh, narcotic-related um, stuff. With that being said, it happens. And sometimes, bro, you and your parent can be divorced. But that shit could be cool. You know what I'm saying? Sadly, not everybody gets the happy go lucky perfect lifestyle, sadly to say. Now, with that being said, and let's move aside, these allegations she's making is number one crazy. Now, number two, the dad is not a public figure. So, as much as she is saying this, it's like, number one, that's her dad. And, like, you got to be a real type of scum to lie on your father. But again, this is little Tay. We wouldn't be surprised she was doing shit for clout. She was basically like the father was behind the death hoax as well that uh, came out like this year that her and her brother passed away. And like, I could see Lil Tay doing this shit for clout again. She'll be gone five years. She's trying to get uh, get her name circulated again. Trying to get her name talked about again. Apparently a lot of niggas paid attention to that song. And she's trying to do her thing. I, don't, I guess she's like, what, 13, 14 now? Maybe now she's allowed to be on the internet more. I don't know, compared to like when she was like nine, eight, nine, ten years old. But like, no, eight, nine years old, sorry. Um, but yeah, I like, I don't really know. 
Cause you gotta be some type of scum to lie on your father. And if your dad did do did do this shit, I don't, I guess she has a court case against him. Number one, that's why. Number two, I don't think. Again, she said she's not going into much detail. But also, with that being said, I feel like nowadays, bro, in certain topics, it was like there was another situation that happened with Jack Boy. I don't mean to relate it in this video, but basically, it was a domestic violence, I guess, because they were a couple. It was his artist. I don't know if that was his girl at the same time. She was a pretty girl. But um, basically, he was beating on her and she brought it to Instagram. It's like, as she also could have filed a case, but as much as we like to say, not everything for the internet. At some point, bro, everything for the internet. Niggas be talking about everything, relationships, drama, like all this shit go on the internet. So it's like, especially with a person the caliber of Lotte. Now I get it, she was a kid, and I still feel like the family kind of orchestrated her online persona and image. You know, I don't know how much involvement the father had. I clearly think the brother had the most involvement, but that's besides the point. That's just me. I don't know them motherfuckers. It's just, do I 100% believe her? No, but like at some point, bro, maybe your humanity kicks in. Like, there's no way you can lie on this shit, regardless of how trash your father is. You would not go to this extreme, like, regardless, and insinuate some of the shit she did insinuate and say some of the shit that this motherfucker was doing. Listen, she's basically saying this nigga's scum. Now, I respect. The fact you was pulling off Craigslist. Because I feel like that's difficult. Unless it's the new back page. Then let me know. Because nigga. I knew niggas was sad when back page was done. Nigga a back page. Hold on. Nigga back page was a moment nigga. Back page will be uh, like. Honored with fucking LimeWire. And Napster nigga. That's how it was. <laughs> but in all seriousness. Um, if this is true. Hey, hopefully you win that case. I don't know if you're trying to get to like 18 and get emancipated. I don't know what the fuck you're trying to do. But hey, little Tay, keep your head up. Hey, hey, ho, hey, welcome back and continue on with your social media influencer career. But if you're really lying on your peoples like that, dog. Hey, Shawty, you got some issues, gang. I ain't going to lie. If you're lying on your peoples like that, you foul as fuck. That's really all I can say. But we're going to wait and see what happens with this situation. Besides all that, you already know what it is. It's your friendly neighborhood KA signing off for t today. The black TJ that while doing this thing. My name ring was like Quasimodo. He likes subscribe, trying to hit a little bit more though. I'm gone. Slimes on P shots, gang. Aye.